is Ofton, and I'm back broadcasting live from my kitchen for the 2014-2015 math video series. Today's topic is a review of relations and functions, which we'll need in Unit 2 of Algebra 2 Honors and Algebra 3. Relations and functions are a really important concept in mathematics. A relation is a mapping or a matching, and it matches one input or domain value with one or more output range values. And I want you to see here how this circle is the domain. It has the numbers 1 and 2. The number 1 has been matched with two values in the range. The number 2 has been matched with one value in the range. Another way of expressing a relation is with a table of ordered pairs like this table. These are both relations. Some relations are functions. Now a function is a relation in which each element of the domain is matched to one and only one element of the range. And I want you to notice there's only one arrow coming out of each of the domain numbers in the first oval, the domain. The numbers 2 and 3 both point at the number 2 in the range, but that's okay. Now, I've repeated my sets of ordered pairs from my first problem, definition of the range, or definition of relation, because it turns out that first sample was also a function. So some relations are functions, and all functions are relations. Here are some examples of functions that you might see in your math class. Here's one, a linear function. It's a straight line. This is a kind of swervy function. It's actually a cubic. All of these absolute value around the x's. x squared, or x raised to any power. Um, x is under a square root sign and being divided by 2 here. You'll notice in all of these, really nothing is going on with the y. I've also given this tabular example. Different numbers for x's, the y values are all the same. The y values can be all the same, they can be all different, but if you're putting in a table of values, you should never have an x value repeat with a different y value. These are all functions. On this slide, these are not functions. You'll notice in both of these, y has been raised to an even power. This is the hallmark of something, an equation that is not a function. On these graphs, they both fail something called the vertical line test. You can see if I draw a vertical line through this graph of the circle, it intersects the circle, the single vertical line intersects the circle in two places. That makes this not a function. Here, the same thing happens again. I draw a vertical line through this parabola and it intersects the parabola in two locations. These equations, one has a y inside of the absolute value bars. That's a big no-no. This one has no y at all. This is actually a vertical line equation. A vertical line is not a function. And again, a tabular representation. Notice that the number one appears two times under the x column. It is matched with two different y values. That means that this is not a function. It's an important skill in mathematics to be able to evaluate functions if you are given values. This says, given a function of x is defined by x squared plus x. I'm asked to find the value of f of negative 4. So I'm going to substitute negative or positive 4. I'm going to substitute positive 4 in place of x, and I'm going to evaluate.
Notice that nothing is happening on this left hand side. My final answer is f of 4 equals 22. In my second example, I have f of negative 6. I'll substitute negative 6 in place of x. Now negative 6 squared is positive 36. Once again, nothing is happening on the left hand side. My final answer after I do the order of operations is 42. In good news, both of these will give me points on the graph of this function. This, f of 4 equals 22, matches up to the point 4 comma 22. This matches up to the point negative 6 comma 42. We can also have more complicated problems like this one. We're asked, again, with the same function, f of x equals x squared plus 6, to find f of 2g. Now I'm going to substitute 2g in place of x, and I'll follow my rules for exponentiation. 2g squared is equal to 4g squared plus 6. Well, there's nothing I can do to combine like terms here, so that's just my final answer. Notice that generally, when I've substituted a variable in place of x, I get a new function. In this example, I have to do f of m plus 1. Now, I saw a lot of errors with this on various summer packets, so I think it's important that I've included this. m plus 1 quantity squared is not m squared plus 1. It is actually going to be equal to m squared plus 2m plus 1. If you don't believe me, you should write out m plus 1 two times and multiply them together using the distributive property. In this expression, I do have some like terms to combine. So I end up with the final answer that is yet another new function. f of the quantity m plus 1 is equal to m squared plus 2m plus 7. So again, when I'm substituting numbers in place of the input for a function, I get a numeric value back. When I substitute variables in, in general, I'll get a new function. Thanks and have a great day.